Whether you're building your first website or are a seasoned website creator, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that AI is all the rage and that your grandmother is probably using it. But how can AI enhance your website creation process? In today's video, we'll be looking at top-notch free AI tools that are great for web designers, web developers, or just anyone that wants to build a website. From content generation to AI imagery, we've got you covered. So make sure you watch until the end to maybe find that hidden AI gem that you had never heard of. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team, and today I will share with you 11 free AI tools that you can use right now. Now, I need to mention that these tools come in no particular order in this video, but we do hope that you find that hidden gem that you're looking for. And the first tool we're gonna talk about is Microsoft Bing Image Creator. Now, the tool is free, you get like 100 credits per day, which is a lot, and of course, there's always a pricing plan if you want more, but 100 credits is already a lot. So, let me show you. Here, I'm just gonna type what I wanna see, and I'm gonna type attractive Asian woman with a blue jacket on a yellow background. And then all I need to do is click on create. And that took approximately 15 seconds. So here are the images. Now with these tools, you need to iterate because sometimes it's not perfect from the get-go. So let's zoom in. Uh, you can see the eyes here are a bit funny. This one is pretty good. Uh, this one also and this one yeah one eye you know it's not really like the other one but you can iterate like let me show you when I did the first iteration I mean that was bad I don't know if you can see it on screen right here but you know that was that was a bit bad same thing here with the mouth so you need to try several times and change the prompts and you can get pretty good results but hey it's free and it's based on dal e you may know about dal e which is a very popular ai imagery tool so there you go you get 100 credits per day and you can create your images let's say for example you need some images for a construction website you could have something like white house on a hill and there you go you got four variations and like i said before you can iterate but then you got your images and you can start using those images right away on your website. Next, remove BG. Now, as the name says, this tool is about removing the background of any image and it does it really well. Cherry on the cake, it's free as promised. So you can either upload an image or just drop it right here or here on the website, you can try to have several images. So let me try with this one, for example. So for example, here is the image and here it is with the removed background. Now let me try with one of my images. So I'm just gonna click on upload image, add my image. And there you go, right away, I get the removed background and I can always go back to the original. So then all you have to do is download or download in HD. And that's super convenient if you need a quick way to isolate the subject of any image. Now, of course, you'll find links to these resources in the description of this video. Next, ZipWP. Now, what if I told you that you could create a multi-page professional WordPress website in just 60 seconds? And I'm serious. The way it works is super simple. You just have to fill in the form step by step and describe what you're trying to build. And ZipWP can even help you with that. Next, choose the images you want to be used. Choose your layout options and then sit back, relax and enjoy the short flight. ZipWP will serve you with a fully functioning website with compelling copy and professional imagery. You then have 24 hours to explore your website and save a copy that you can later export to your own web hosting. At this stage, your website is 90% done. You can now add your own logo, change your color palette, and of course, change your preferred fonts. And editing content is as easy as using a document editor. Like for example, if you want to change this call to action button, just click on edit, replace the text, hit save, now hit refresh, and there you go. And changing images is just as easy. Replace any image in an instant in just a few clicks. Next, Magic Eraser. So previously in this video, we saw the Remove BG, which removed the background. But with Magic Eraser, you can just remove one element in the picture without removing the background, as you can see here. Let's upload a picture. So I'll be using the same image that for the Remove BG tool. Let me change the brush size and let me draw over what I think is a lynx. So let me draw over it and then click on erase. Wow, almost perfect. So let's do it one more time. And great, now the lynx is gone. So as you can see, you have to play with it. 
you might have to do it one, two, three, four times, but eventually you get a good result. Sometimes you get a result from the first try. But yeah, it's an amazing tool and it's free. Next, Vectorizer AI. So basically with Vectorizer AI, you can trace pixels to vectors in full color as the title says. Now you may be wondering, what's the big deal? So for those of you that know a tool like Adobe Illustrator that costs money every month, this is one of the features that allows you to change something that is rasterized, that has pixels, into something that you can make as big as you want. It's gonna be vector-based. And if you don't really understand what I'm talking about, you're gonna see in a moment. But first of all, let's use one of the tools that I mentioned previously in this video, Microsoft Bing Image Creator. So I typed the prompt and the prompt was coffee shop logo and I get these four logos. Now let's say that I like this one and want to use this one for the new brand. So I'm just going to save it and if I open it, okay, it looks good at this size, but let's say that I want to print it on a giant billboard. So let me zoom in and you see how ugly it is, all pixelated. So basically this is unusable. And what if I want it on a negative version? So if I want white on a dark color, I can't really use it. And that's where Vectorizer AI comes into play. So I can just drag and drop an image or I can pick which file type I want. Here we got GIF, PNG, JPEG. Now I'm going to use it with a JPEG. So let me click on JPEG. Let me pick my saved image. And as you can see in real time, uploading processing and it's super fast. So now you see on the left, we got the original image and the vectorized results on the right. Now let me zoom in and you can see the difference. So on the right hand side, I can zoom as much as I want and it's still neat. Whereas on the left hand side with the original, as we saw, it's pixelated and basically unusable professionally. So once you vectorize your image, you can just click on download. And on the following screen, you got a bunch of options, but here I'm just gonna save it as an SVG. So just click on download and that's it. File is downloaded. And now I've opened the original on the left hand side and the vectorized result on the right hand side. And I zoomed in even more dramatically so that you can see the difference. So basically now you can turn any AI generated image or any normal image into a vector and it's specifically awesome for typography or for logos. Now disclaimer, as you can see here, it says free while in beta. So we don't know how long the beta is going to last and what the pricing is going to be. Are they gonna keep a freemium model with you know some free downloads? Nobody knows at this stage. But in case it doesn't work out for you, I found this alternative vectorizer. Now they do have limits on downloads, but still, if you need to convert the logo, you can do it here. And the next one is called Vector Magic. And it's the same principle. Just the interface is different, but it's the same principle as what I showcased with Vectorizer AI. Next, Sure Writer. So SureWriter is a personalized AI assistant and basically with it you can create website content and copy, you can create blog posts, emails, announcements, social media posts, documents and SOP and basically anything you want to write. So as you may know, content is king. Now let's say that you have a brand new website about Italian cuisine. Now you don't really have time to write blog posts or you don't want to pay someone to do it for some reason because you have to invest your money somewhere else. So you can just go here to documents blog post, next write the title, for example, the three most famous dishes from Milan, Italy. Next, we can share more context. So for example, here for the context, I wrote this post is about the three most famous dishes served in restaurants in Milan, Italy. Now I can add words to include. And for example, let me write fantastic. Then click on start writing. Now you can choose the tone. Let's make it funny. Next, you can type default slash for commands and you can start writing and ask the assistant to help you. But if you're in a hurry, you don't have time to write, you can click on write for me or use the keyboard shortcut. So let me click on this button. And there you go. In less than 20 seconds, we got a full blown blog post with 2,455 characters and 411 words. Now, if you remember, we asked the assistant to include the word fantastic. And here it is with its fantastic culinary creations. Now we're just scratching the surface here because that was for a blog post. We can write documents, we can chat with the assistant to get some help. We can have blog post opening, company bio, company values, product description, summarize the content, perfect deadline, even the intro of a YouTube video, for example. Now, Sure Writer comes with several plans, among which a free plan that is plenty enough. So why don't you give it a try? Next, 
Scribble Diffusion. Now, this is one of my favorites and you'll know why in a moment. But right now, the principle is very simple. You can turn any sketch into a refined image using AI. So for example here, they have this example with a mountain and the sun, and you get a prompt here, the sun setting behind the mountains. Then all you need to do is click on go and wait for the results. And there you go. You can see the results here. Now it's more like a painting than a picture, but you can get various results. For example, with my brilliant design skills, I designed this toddler as the prompt says, toddler, and look at the result. Now, ain't that beautiful? So if your drawing skills are those of a five-year-old, but you want to create a masterpiece for free with AI, try Scribble Diffusion. Next, Clip Interrogator. Now you may be wondering, what is this all about? Now let's say that you stumble upon these images and these images would perfectly fit your new website. But you don't have the budget to pay for a photographer and models and you don't want to spend hours to look on stock images websites. So instead you want to use AI and that's where Clip Interrogator comes into play. So here I'm going to click on upload and select my downloaded image. Then click on submit. And there you go, here is the prompt that the tool came up with. Now, it took approximately 40 seconds, like 43 seconds. But bear in mind, there are actually four images here. So if you just have one image, it might go way faster, but still it's pretty good. So now the thing is, we can use this prompt, copy it and use it in an AI tool. And why not create it with Microsoft being image creator? So let me paste the prompt and then let me click on create. Now, sometimes you may have to remove some of the keywords, so it's a bit of tweaking, but it's pretty easy. So let me try again. I remove the word cleavage. Let's click on create. And this is the result. Now for first iteration, it's pretty good. Let's look at the original image. Now, of course, it would need to be refined, but like I said, this is just the first iteration. So if you had a few more keywords, it might be better. Now, let me show you what I came up with with another tool. So as a reminder, this is the original and this is what I came up with. Pretty close, right? Now, unfortunately, this tool is not free. It's called Me Journey. So, but just to show you what you can do if you have the right prompt. And let me show you a second example. And as you can see, it's pretty close. Once again, here is the original. Here is one iteration. And here is another iteration with the prompt generated by Clip Interrogator. Now I tried some more with Microsoft Bing Image Creator and I got different results. Now from afar, it looks good. Now when you go into details, uh, maybe she would need, or maybe she had too much surgery. But hey, you can iterate on this tool and you're gonna fine tune it and eventually you're gonna get the image that you need and it's free. Next, UIZard or Wizard, I don't know how to pronounce it. But with this tool, it's basically like ShareWriter or ChatGPT, but for UI design. Now you may be wondering, well, if you're building WordPress websites, do you really need this? Well, it depends. Let me show you. With this tool, you can create a startup landing page, a website wireframe, a mobile app wireframe. Now, let's say that you're using a tool like Cardflows for WordPress. With Cardflows, you can create totally custom funnels. Now, if you're using Cardflows, it may be interesting to create your own custom funnels, even though there are great templates, but maybe you have a different use case. So with a tool like UIZard or Wizard, you can just describe what you want and the tool is going to do the rest, as you can see here on screen. And from the text, it's going to generate the interface of your app or whatever you want to build. But one of my favorite features is this one, Wizard Wireframe. So basically you can just scan your wireframes and the tool is just going to create a corresponding interface. How amazing is that? Now this tool comes with several plans among which a free plan. Of course, the free plan is somewhat limited, but still it's very good because if you need it for a specific project for $0, you can get started and get a beautiful UI for your web project. Next, Microsoft Designer. So with this tool, you can unleash your creativity by just writing text and let the tool do its magic. So for example here, previously with your writer, we wrote a blog post about Italian recipes. And one of the dishes was also buco. So let me go to Microsoft Designer and I'm going to describe what I want to create, which is an Instagram post about the Milanese Osobuco recipe. Click on try for free. And here all you need is to sign up with your Microsoft account. And here are the results. Now there are many more variations and the tool even comes with suggestions. So try the suggestion, click on generate 
and voila, even more variations that you can choose from. Next, Namelix. So Namelix is a business name generator. And basically it allows you to create a short brandable business name using artificial intelligence. So let's try it. So let's say we want to generate a name for a South American coffee brand. So let me just type the keywords and click on generate. Next, you can choose the name style and you get many different options here. But let me select brandable names. Then click on next. And on this screen, you need to select the generation randomness, low, medium, or high. Medium is balanced, so let's pick that. Click on next. And here you can add a business description. For example, a South American coffee brand for hipsters. And here you have the options to also check the mains. Next, click on generate. And there you go, it took approximately five seconds. So not only do you get the names, but it also shows a preview of what a logo could be. Now, disclaimer, the logos do not come for free. But once you get the name, you can do your research and at least you get inspiration. Basically, you got a head start. For example, Café Zuelo looks nice. Now, when I hover over it, I can see that the .com is available and I can register the domain right from this screen. And if I click on the logo, it's going to take me to this page where I have more logos if I click on the other slides. But once again, as I said, the logos do not come for free because as you can see, it has a purchase button. But we're using Namelix here for the brand name and we got a bunch of brand names. So there you have it. With those awesome free AI tools, you are now equipped to build gorgeous and professional websites. Now, if you plan on building your WordPress website in 60 seconds with ZWP, as explained in this video, then you should definitely watch this video about Spectra, the visual website builder used with ZWP.